Are you addicted to technology? Technology. It surrounds us and it connects us. We hold it in our pockets, use it in class, and in our free time. It is almost impossible to avoid. Our society seems to be forever connected. How much of our time is actually spent using our little devices? Welcome to Are You Addicted? Let's take a look at what Muhlenberg students have to say about technology. We will begin with a device that 89% of Americans use, cell phones. I just broke my brick breaker record. <laughs> Is there anything I don't use it for? That's the real question. I sleep next to my phone. Texting uh, controls a lot of my day, like when I eat dinner. Before everything I go to, I look at my phone at least once. How many times a day like, do you text people? Uh, like every second that I can. My phone, don't even get me started on my phone. All right, it's an epidemic. How many BBM contacts do you have? Right now, I have one more than who lives in Nigeria, probably. What if you didn't have your phone? I'd have no friends. <laughs> like. But at my dinner table at home, literally, my mom has a basket in the middle of the table for the cell phones for the kids because we can't have any conversation. Not that anybody is interested really what I have to say at my family dinner table because whatever, you know, I just kind of sit at the end and text. I have heard though that you play a lot of video games. Is that? We told you this. 68% of American households now play computer or video games. Video games, I hate, I hate video games. I mean, I have friends who like don't have anything else to do with their lives very much. <laughs> Suck on that. What kind of video games do you play? Um, right now it's monopolized only by Call of Duty. So what, for those of us who don't know, what is Call of Duty? The best game ever. The average game player is 35 years old and has been playing games for 12 years. Like but I, I will say that I bought a PS3 specifically for, for this Call game. of Duty. Yeah. Does Call of Duty interfere with your work? Um. Not yet. I hate video games. Everyone's always playing video games. I hate them. You don't get that video technology. Games. No, I I enjoy I do enjoy video games, but when it's taken to a completely unacceptable level of competitiveness, that's when enough's enough. Oh. Do you spend hours at a time playing video games? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. When there's screaming going on in my common room of my suite at 11 in the morning and I'm trying to sleep, I don't appreciate it. And that's all because of video games. What kind of games do you play? Uh, like old school games. Uh, I got an N64 in the back, so I play a lot of like Super Mario and old games. And then and I like to get like the new games on Wii. We got the new Mario, which you know, was a lot of hours, a lot of hours spent. Basically, my health. My health. Hello? The average user spends more than 55 minutes per day on Facebook. Well, how many times a day do you go on Facebook? Wow. 50% of active users log on to Facebook. I spend at least five to six hours of my day on Facebook. And like when I'm in class, I get it on my phone. Like, this is serious. Do you have a Facebook? Yes. Um, unfortunately, it gets me into trouble, so I just finally got to the point where I'm starting to block people on it. You know, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want creepers, you know, looking me up. Yeah. And what do you do on Facebook? Is it just like talking to people? Creep. <laughs> More than three billion photos are uploaded each month. What about Facebook? Facebook, I am on only my real friends. Two thousand. What are your thoughts on Facebook? I don't know. Kind of. Dominates my life. What's up, man? What you doing? <laughs> you on MySpace right now? Oh no, I'm on Twitter. Twitter? What's that? 
best thing in the world. How many times do you go on Facebook a day? 100. I don't even remember what life was like before Facebook. Like, I'll be, I'll be trying to like get stuff done, and like all, all I can do is just refresh my Facebook page, you know, because like, see, maybe someone wrote on my wall or something. I don't know. It just goes on and on and on until I haven't done any work for like three hours. Randomly. <laughs> Best way to deal with the uh, five essays do. Hey, I got text messages. I want people to know that I changed my Facebook picture like four times a day. Like, well, what am I, a loser? No, but everyone does it. Do you want to add me on Facebook? <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd probably lose my mind. What would you do without your phone? Uh, 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 <laughs> get another one. <laughs> What's left? Um, lay in my room and slip slowly into madness. I just no. I I don't know. And there you have it. Technology is slowly taking over, and teens, students, and even teachers are getting carried away. Is it a good way to check out girls? Can you check out girls? You like Twitter? Yes, I have almost 200 followers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's more than Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's everywhere on campus, and without even knowing it, we get sucked in. In five years, will I need to know about stats? No, but like, will I still be checking my Facebook? Yeah. yeah. It follows us everywhere and affects our every move. There is no turning back now. I could go, I could go for weeks without like actually talking to people and having conversations. And then I got this, and now I don't need to see people. Admit it already. We know you're addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to my phone. I'm addicted to Facebook. I'm addicted to Twitter. I'm addicted to my cell phone. I'm addicted to my cell phone. Wait, what was the question? No, no one ever writes on my wall. It usually happens like once a day, but I'll be like refreshing and refreshing. Nothing ever happens.